I've got a John Deere 955 tractor with a busted fuel filter bracket. I need to remove the front end loader, take the tractor apart, weld the bracket, put the tractor back together and reinstall the front end loader. Let's do it! The bracket for my fuel filter busted. I think there's like an L bracket in there and I need to get access to that. The easiest way to get access to get that removed and welded is to take the front end loader off. Let your loader down all the way to the ground. Now you also want to make sure that your brake is applied and locked in place or if you have another attachment like I do I've got that resting on the ground holding the tractor in place and also taking pressure off the hydraulics. Next you want to release the loader latches and it's sitting down in a pocket here to get it out of that pocket you push it in and it'll lift up so it's in that bigger hole so you can pull it out. And then you can lock that in place back there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to start it up and I'm going to lift the loader to get the back of the frame there of that loader above the front tires so I can back the tractor out. And now we'll shut the tractor off. Now with the tractor shut off, emergency brake applied, we want to move the hydraulic lever to release any pressure in the hydraulics. Next thing we need to do is release these hydraulic lines. This is a 1997 model, and I don't think this front end loader's ever been off. So what you want to do is make sure these are free. Just turn them. That one turns. This one doesn't turn. This one doesn't turn. This one turns. So I'm going to spray just a little WD-40 on that just to free them up and turn them a little bit. Now we've got the pressure off the hydraulic lines, but before you disconnect these lines, make sure they're color coded. This one's yellow, and I got a yellow one here. White, a white two, and black, a black three. If yours aren't color coded, make sure you label them because these have to go where they are right now. Otherwise your front end loader and your hydraulics isn't gonna work. Now these release just like an air hose would. You just pull this coupling back and you can pull the line out. I'll do the same thing on all of them. Coupling back, release the line. If it's a little stiff, you can push it in a little bit and push the hose in and then push the coupling collar in. All right, got all four of them released. I've got a bracket right here, and I don't want to back out with that bracket and possibility of these getting caught up. So I'm going to pull these out and rest them right here. Now the tractor's free from the loader, it can slowly back it up. And now we can go ahead and make the repair on the broken fuel filter bracket. And I found that the bracket for the fuel filter busted. You can see it right in there. It's snapped right off. And I also noticed the fuel line has a nice gouge out of it from vibrating in here.
there's our broken bracket. Now I gotta get the other half off so I can weld it. Here's that bracket, but that busted piece isn't there, but another piece fell. Maybe that's the one that broke. It was behind this. Here it is. There it is. And there's the break. Sitting just like that. So when I weld this on the back side, I'm going to have to grind this smooth so it fits flush against the block. So I need to weld that back on. Reinstall it and hopefully we're all set to go. Of course, reassembly is going to be the opposite of taking it apart. Here's our new bracket. Go on like that. And our other piece fits on it like that. And I'm going to put a little Loctite on those bolts when I put them in because these diesels rattle so much. That's how that plate broke. That'll keep those bolts in there. Last, I want to try to repair this fuel line. The tear in it. It's right here. I think I've got enough line that I can just bring this up. It'll probably bring the line across here, but it should be okay. I think that'll do it. All right, let's fire it up. See if we're all set. Everything tight. Good. hook up our hydraulics. Just take this hose, pull it around, and bring it through. I got a bracket here. You might not have that, but I just bring it through there. And now we can hook up the hydraulic lines and make sure you follow the color coding. Now a little tip if you didn't release the pressure on your hydraulics when you un offloaded this, you'll get it unplugged. But if you can't get it plugged back in because there's too much pressure on these lines, you need to release that pressure. 
And the way to release the pressure, there's a little pin on the end of this. You stick a rag over the end of it, otherwise the hydraulic fluid's going to shoot everywhere. And you just push it. You can push it against a, a, any solid surface. See how that squirted out a little bit? That releases the pressure, and then you can hook it up. And it's good to put a rag over so you don't shoot hydraulic fluid everywhere. But you're just taking that and pressing that against that. And then you'll be able to hook them up. I'm going to put the black one on first. Number three. Start at the bottom and work your way up. You just push, push that back. Push that in and release it. You're locked in. Good, we're all locked in. Now with the hydraulic lines reconnected, we can go ahead and remount the loader. If this isn't latching real easy, you want to check right back here and make sure that that's sitting down and resting right on that frame piece. We got the plate welded, everything put back in place, front end loader reinstalled, and we're ready to go back to work. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, and I look forward to helping you with other projects online.